Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Small Land. I'm the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. It's uh, upgrade base day today, cleanup base day today, get things moved to where they need to be. Kitchen goes over there. We're going to put our bed and stuff in here. Um, going to swap out a bunch of the flooring for stone. This area in the center here will stay wood. Uh, but right now, what I'm doing is I'm getting started on replacing this stuff over here. So if I just take and put another box down here, I don't have one. I need garlic leaf. Let's grab a little bit of garlic leaf. If I put another one here, I will use it eventually and take it up. I've noticed that some of the crates um, break when you remove the floor and some do not. Um, let's go. Let's see, that one broke. I've had it to where they don't break, uh, and sometimes they just kind of hover there, so there's there's that. Uh, I'm going to drop all this stuff in here. So each time I'm going to have to do some cleanup on all of this stuff to move it, and then of course we're going to have to do that again uh, when we go to you know put it where it's going to be for good. I think I've got a good plan as to how I want the house to be set up, so we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. And then foundations. I've got all the materials I need in here to go ahead and do that right there. So let's see if this one floats or breaks. It broke it. Uh, yeah, it broke it. Okay. And then I'll just keep dropping stuff in here and keep moving things around. But that's the first goal is to get this room kind of finished up so that I've got um, a place to put things at the moment while we're, you know, building and getting things rearranged in here. Boom, like so. Very good. And let's take this one out. Grab that. And I'll grab this one too. Let's see if this I did not break the table. And we'll do that guy right there. So there's a whole nice room for us to put uh, a few more boxes and stuff in here. So we can take and, you know, uh, up. Okay, can we, you guys were saying that we can stack these on top of each other, it looks like. You had mentioned that. That there was a possibility we could stack these guys on top of each other. Hmm. I don't think I like that though. Doesn't look very good, does it? There's probably a better way to do it, and I'm just not doing it right. But uh, I don't like to stack the chest like that if I... I don't. I don't. So I'm going to put a few more of these guys in here. So we can move some stuff around. Like so. And then we'll be upgrading some of our chests to these really nice big ones here. With the uh, owl face on them. I think that looks pretty cool. So, this room is more or less done uh, with the movement of things, and we'll, uh, we'll get the rest of this stuff moved around as well. Um, maybe I should get this kind of figured out first, and maybe get the tannery put outside. Maybe we do that kind of first. We'll just put a few more boxes in here. That should work just fine. So yeah, let me move a few things around. I'll come back and we will uh, continue forward. All right, let's go ahead and get our area for our tannery set up. Do one, two. Like so. Hey, can I put... You don't go in here. You, you won't go in there right now, will you? Kind of in this corner here. Oh, it will go in that corner there, right there, like that. Okay, that looks nice. I like that. That kind of finishes it off a little bit. Like so. And then we can turn it this way. Uh, if I can get it to pop in here. We could do that. Um, curve it outward. These are going to take damage, though. That's the thing, is that these stone foundations will take damage out here. Because there's nothing covering them. I'm going to leave it at that right there. Let's go ahead and go back to build. And we've got some wood, stone, clay, mortar. Stone and clay, mortar. This is a basic stone pillar, and then there's the reinforced stone pillar. These guys have actually got different recipes for them. Where this one is one wood, one bark. One wood, one bark. Not sure why one is reinforced and one isn't. But these have definitely got a different um, recipe to them. So I'm not sure if I want to use these guys out here. Maybe I do. The stone ones to kind of hold this up. I wonder if maybe if I put this down here. I don't think I need to use. You know what? I'm not going to use the, the stone here. I'm going to use wood ones. I think the wood ones are 
ample and they look nice. I sure can't get that to swing down into that whole corner though, though. Not at the moment I can't. What about if I do this here? Hmm. I really like it when they go all the way down to the ground here. Uh, there's got to be a way to do this that's going to make it happen for me. I mean, we could use the advanced rotation, but I don't want to do... There's just no need for me to have to do that right now. Yeah, I can't get that to go down there. Do that right there. I get these guys to go in here. Maybe with some more fiddling, I can get them to go down underneath there. But they don't want to pop down there at all. Yeah, I can't get them to pop down in there. That's too bad. We'll figure something out. What kind of interesting stone... Do we have any stone rails? We didn't get any stone railings with this, did we? We just got the regular ones. So let's go ahead and put you here and put you here. And let's go to R and then let's take and we're going to flip this guy completely around. Upside down like so. And then he's going to snap up here now. Which is awesome. Yeah, we'll put you right there. I talked about doing this, making it kind of an enclosed area. And we'll put you right there. And then all you have to do is hold R again and hit reset, and it flops it around back to where it was before. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet deal. Like so. And then I am going to get some posts to go down there. We just have to. What if I did... Ooh, what if I did you right up in here? You would protect that little corner piece that we've got down there, and I can add another corner piece on there if I wanted to. Building today, people. Building. I know you love the building. We do something like that right there. That adds a little flare out to it. Um, foundations. And I was thinking about doing kind of a backwards thing here, right? Just to kind of, you know, seal this up. Like so. Give us an extra little lip here. Be nice if they came out with like a barrel or something we could set right there, huh? That would look pretty cool. So that's going to be for our um, tannery. Now the sewing room is over here. So I'm going to put the doorway there. That's where the door is going to go for the tannery. I need to figure out how to get those posts to go underground. I think it's just a matter of finding that sweet spot, you know? And then if we take and we go ahead and do... Um, you know, maybe I should do the stone walls here. I think all of our entrances and exits are going to be stone. So if I do one of those here, I could put a stone door in there. And then we're going to take this out as well. And we're going to put in a stone wall. I'm going to have to go get more clay, of course. We'll do a window here with this one. Those are just so beautiful. Let's do a little bit of a wooden door. I'm glad there's no stone door. I think that's nice that there is no stone door. Yeah, we do that right there. Now, okay, so here, let's also add a railing right down here, across this way here. So it's sealed off like that. And then again, if we hold down R, oh, I, I repaired that, huh? Oh, you got damage to you, huh? Okay. Hold R and then just flip it upside down. Oop, I went too far. There we go. You can kind of tell when you go too far with it. There we go, just like that. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Maybe another uh, reinforced beam in the center here. Just to kind of finish this part up. Like so. All right, now let's grab that tannery and see if it goes in here all right. Hopefully it does. God, I hope it does. If we get this out of the middle of the room, I can move all that, uh, all, all of our crafting stations from the other side down into here. Oh, 
you kidding me? You telling me you're not going to fit in this little spe this big space right here? Oh, that is just silly. All right, so I may have to do some of this all over again here. See, see. Let's get this stuff all out of here. We got to make as much room as we can for this guy to go in here. Yeah. I think if I take all this stuff out that I just put in, it'll see it as being an area where I can go ahead and build then. We'll sleep here in just a second too, by the way. Okay, now can I get you to sit here? I can. I said I just had you. Our tannery's here. I want to just make real sure that I can build here still. I can. Just no problem. No problem at all. So I had to remove that in order to get space for that to go in. You guys had mentioned that sometimes it's better to build your crafting stations first and then do your walls second because, you know, they just line up better. You can put your walls in later. Eat. All right, let's go take a sleep. Looks like it's going to make it a little bit darker in here too, huh? So I'll have to add some more lights back in. I took some of the lights out just because I felt like the game was getting a little washed out. You hear that bang? It's almost like something something's breaking. I'm not sure what it is. Not sure why it makes that noise. You know what I could do here? Maybe it's better that this happened. What if I take you and put you kind of right in here? Oh, you'll fit there beautifully. Oh, that's nice right there like that. Okay, that's really good. I like that a lot. I can hear things breaking. But when I go look to see what's breaking, I never find anything broken. Like so. Now, do I need those beams right there? I'm going to go to R. I'm going to flip this over again. Uh, that's the wrong way. There it is again, there's that noise again. Like stuff breaking. I'm gonna say that something is definitely breaking. <laughs> and I just don't know where to look for it. Put you there. You there. You there. I'm gonna put you right here. There we go, just like that. That's nice. Everything's protected by this piece of roofing here, so that should be good. Let's go inside and see how our new tannery area is looking. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put any storage out there, but... We now have access to a tannery right out here, and tanneries should be outside because they smell so bad. So this is perfect. I bet, I bet you bucks I could get us. Oh, watch it now, Chesh. Ah. <sighs> She's so aggressive sometimes. Uh, I bet I could do a small chest out here. To put just a few things in. nothing too, Not too much. Maybe nothing at all. But we could put a chest right out here. That gives us a little bit of storage out there. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, and then we need a light out here too. Um, Alright, so back to... Do I have... I do have some on me. Alright, beautiful. Got a little bit of resin in my inventory. Twig torch. The twig torch can go... I gotta remember I could turn these things upside down too now. So I could hang it from the ceiling and it would light up this whole area down here too. Let's try that once and see what it does. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and turn this torch all the way around. And I can take you and I can put you right in the middle up here and voila, look at that, we've got light. It's not on the ground, it's up above, but we've got ourselves a little bit of a lamp out here so we can see what we're doing as we come out here. 
Working on putting the kitchen floor down. Let's see, we got 20 more clay mortar made. I need to make some more, but uh, this should get us through a little ways here. Maybe enough to get this kitchen done. Let's see. The cost is pretty reasonable. We'll see if we can get this chest. Yeah, see, I could, that chest did not break. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Just, just yeah, like that one did, <laughs> you know? That one did break, so now I gotta find a place to put all that stuff. I think the stove out here would look better, and I, I think I will take out these walls. So you, could, you can't get quite up against the wall with that right there. So let's try that out. Let's go. Uh, let's take a C. And can I take this out and this out? Those guys are all okay. And then I come in here, and we could do this guy like right there, and then have room to put back my walls. I was thinking about making the first row of blocks all the way around here stone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a stone wall. Let's come out here. Uh, yes, right there. And uh -huh, right there. And then I guess I'll use just the, the regular stone pillar. Regular stone pillar looks pretty nice. Don't, I don't know what the difference is. But does it say what the difference is between these things? Uh, basic stone pillar. It doesn't say it gives extra reinforcement or anything else. Reinforced stone pillar. So yeah, I, I don't know what it really does for us here. Uh, let's grab that out of there. Get that out of there. And then let's grab the stone ones again. I'm going to put you right here. And we're going to put you right there. Uh-huh, that looks really good right there like that. And then let's grab you. And let's make you the rounded one. And should I put a... I probably should put a window on this one since this is the kitchen after all, right? You gotta have some ventilation in here. So we do that. How's that look? Looks really nice. I like the stone. The stone is really pretty. You know what? These uh, these guys here, uh, it's going through the wall here inside. I don't think I like that too much. So I'm gonna get rid of these guys here. It's not it's not a rounded area. So I'm just gonna go with the regular um, these guys right here. I think these guys are ample, just like that. And then we'll fix this over here too once we get the bedroom going. I think that's good though right there. That seems to be pretty happy. Pretty happy spot right there. Oh, and the kitchen's gonna look so nice up here too. Okay, uh, yeah. I, I would love to add a chimney to this and I know there's roof pieces that have chimneys in them. Uh, we've got those actually set up back where the cauldron was. The cauldron is. And the fire pit is as well. But I, I don't like it. I'd rather we have a actual chimney, but we don't have the chimneys. Now the cauldron, uh, let's see the cauldron. Interactive cauldron. Maybe the cauldron in front of this wood would look really good right over here. Uh, the other thing is we could put it right here. That would look probably pretty nice as well, right in front of the window. Maybe we do that instead, huh? In front of the window. Do something like that right there. We'll pull it out a little bit too, just so it looks nice like that. All right, and then we need to... Do we need the campfire anymore? We do. You can't make some of this stuff unless you have a campfire. And I like to make the cheap food just because it's easy to... It's easy to make. We've got plenty of resources for it. So, and it's nice to eat it just around the house. Do we want the fire pit over here? I feel like that looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, we got smoke going in here, but it's not like Valheim where you have smoke inhalation, so you really don't have to worry about that too much. Oh, we got uh, we got a bunch of wood. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna clear this out next and get some of our kitchen stuff moved over here, so we have a nice kitchen because we don't have a nice kitchen. I've only been able to manage to get this guy to pop. He just uh, he just did it. There we go. It's not easy to get this guy to slide into this lower space right here. It is. There, there it goes. Okay, now all of a sudden it's doing it. 
I think I've got everything moved into the kitchen now. We have pieces and parts of flowers and petals. We have our medicinal box and snack box for the bugs and critters that we can tame. We got our honey crumble. We got our beetle hearts and our roach meat and ant heads in here. In here, we seem to get a lot of this uh, insect fat. So I went ahead and gave the big chest to the insect fat. I put the prep, the prep table in the middle of the room, kind of sort of a, uh, what do you call that? An island in a kitchen, the island in the kitchen. Over here, we have uh, mushrooms, some flour, a few cooked items. Uh, that's about it though. I don't think I have any more of this, this uh, beetle stuff that I've cooked up already. So it looks like I've gone through a lot of it already. Almost died because I ran out of food in my system. Uh, so that takes care of our kitchen. This guy here, let's let's go ahead and move. Uh, no, let's go ahead and move him. It interactive, and we've got that little pool. There we go, right here. I'm thinking maybe about putting this on the outside of the front door here, just as kind of a decorative thing as you walk up to the house. How's that look right there? Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Okay, that's nice. Now, we're not going to have enough clay and stuff to do the whole bottom floor here as of today. I'm going to have to go out and do some more clay grind eventually here. I've got a bunch of bug parts in here I've got to move uh, into a different location. I suppose the next thing I should do is try to figure out where I'm going to put the bedroom and get that stuff moved over in that corner out of here so that I can put um, some storage back in here. I was thinking about maybe even moving this bench back here and the other bench over here and then having this all open and then running my storage somehow in the center here possibly is what I'm going to do. So maybe what I do next is I get things moved upstairs. Uh, you know, get this guy kind of moved up above. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bedroom. What is this one here? Shelter bed, leaf bed, and covered bed. Artistically crafted from leaves. A more elegant bed artistically crafted from leaves. Maybe we should do this one. Fiber string and a garlic leaf. Oh, really? Let's do that one instead. That one looks fancy. Let's grab some string and some garlic leaf. We'll make that nice bed up there. We should have the best of the best of the beds, right? Garlic leaf. Boop, there we go. I think that's enough, right? Yeah, it sure is. That's a nice looking bed. All right, let's go upstairs. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now, this is going to be difficult because when we have a tame, the tame's going to want to pop up in here every single time we're here. So I don't know that I like that idea too much. But uh, we could put our bed. We have no windows there. Let's put our bed right over here. I think that looks nice right here. Something like that right there. Look at that bed. Oh, that's nice, huh? There's our spawn point. Yeah, that does look nice, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Very comfy. What's it got underneath here? It's got like a little mushroom or something, a little blue nightlight type thing there. It almost looks like a sled. That's awesome. The artwork in here is amazing. It is truly a piece of art, that's for sure. I'll leave that door open since we're going to be jumping back and forth through here doing that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to move the bedroom stuff next. We'll get all this stuff set up there, and then we'll have uh, a beautiful bedroom for us to be in. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? We'll put all this stuff up there. Uh, doing the, using the nice, the nice owl chest uh, to put our armor in and the extra tools and weapons that we've been accumulating since we started doing the series. If I do that right there... Now what I could do is I can add a second one right here that comes down and angles this way, and that'll make it look really nice. I think I may have what I need for that, too. Uh, did I put the... I do. I've got that right in here. So what else do I need for those? Uh, petals and a textile. I need a textile patch, huh? All right, let's go ahead and get one more of those made. A textile patch, which I believe is fiber and, and silk. I think. Textile patch, okay. And then I need some of those pink petals. Throw you back in here. The pink petals. 
I put the pink petals right over into here. Yep, or do. There we go. All right, and let's see. Can we do this now? Did I grab enough stuff? Looks like I did. All right, beautiful. Uh, you're still upside down. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me go ahead and hit two. Let me scroll all the way into first person and then pull that back out. And it, we hopefully will see better this way. Oh, man. Look at that. That's pretty sexy. I like that. I like that a lot. We could do another one like right here. Oh man, that is awesome. Yeah, that is really awesome. Look at this room. Look how much better that looks, huh? With a little bit of stone added to the wood. I'm really tempted to keep some of my wood walls too, just to offset some of the uh, colors and stuff. Those wood windows next to the stone doorway look really nice, I think. Not all of this has to be stone. I don't want it all to be stone. All right, we're swapping out our foundations now in this room where the bedroom used to be. Everything's been moved and put away. We're going to have to go get more supplies. We're almost out of stuff here. Oh, that's not right. There we go. The center area is going to be be uh, wood right there. So that's all going to be wood right there. But this has come together pretty nicely here. Let's go ahead and maybe... What do we have in our inventory left over for... Seven, huh? Uh, maybe I should swap out some of these walls here. With the stone. Get some of these taken care of. Maybe I put a window down here. Do I want a window here? I don't know if a window's necessary right there. We're going to go ahead and skip the window there. You can't really see anything with that anyways. Put you in there. Switch over to the window one. Looks like we, our weather is starting to change a little bit again. It's going to be fall here pretty quick. I think we'll be able to... Um, We'll just go, we'll get, do some resource gathering. we got to take care of that hornet, which is in the agenda here pretty quick. Wouldn't mind getting one of those wolf spiders, too, to take with when we take on that spider. I'm wondering if the wood pillars are good enough in here, or if I should switch all these out to stone on the bottom floor here. I kind of feel like I should. Oops. And then I've got the ones underneath to kind of keep me on track as to when I need to replace those. I can see what I'm doing. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're going to put you there. And then I need... I need more clay mortar. More clay mortar. Uh, armor is now in here. We have everything that we've gotten so far. I've got them doubled up on this row down here. Okay. And then over here, some of our better stuff that's been coming in just as of lately is going to go into this one right here. So I have all our armor there. Uh, this is uh, empty. And over here I have... Some of the odds and ends we've made. Some of the tools that we don't take with us every time, but we have them handy. And then uh, that box is empty as well. And we've got more room for storage and stuff over here. So that's great. Thought I saw something there for a second. Uh, okay, so this room is looking pretty sharp as well. Do we have anything we need repairing? No, we're good to go there. And of course, we've got our stonecutter bench over here. The next room I want to clean up is this area here. Maybe this will be storage. Maybe I'll do storage boxes on either side of this and just keep this as sort of a storage room. 
I don't know. That's just it. We can do whatever we want to do, right? I'm really happy with how the kitchen has turned out, though, today. The kitchen is looking pretty sharp, if you ask me. I like it a lot. I could put a post here going all the way up to the ceiling. That wouldn't be too bad looking. Uh, the reinforced one is what we were using here, I think. If I do that right there, and I do that right there. That actually makes that look pretty nice. And then what I could do is add a second one of these guys right up in here. I think I can. Yeah, I could do that right there, but I don't know if that's really going to be... How does that look up here, though? Yeah, it kind of comes up and through the floor here. I don't like that too much. I don't think we need that, but I will take that right there. We could, we could do this guy here and this guy right there. We could do that, and then we could take him and flip him around. Like so, and put him up here too. That could look kind of nice. Like that. Uh, put him up here, and then we could actually slide him around the back of the stairs too, and that would clear up the staircases pretty well. Ah, this is kind of melding in with the one that's angled upwards, so I don't know that I like that too much. Let's get rid of that and get rid of that. Uh, the pieces parts went someplace. Got some right there. There we go. I think I got it all. The lights will do some different things with as well. Oh, the kitchen's looking pretty. I like that. That looks really cute. I do. I like that a lot. That looks really nice. Okay. All right. I feel good about this. I feel good about our kitchen area now. It looks very nice. Yeah, we've got chests just on the floor. They're not up on shelves or anything like that. But it's still, it looks really full and full without being overcrowded, right? Full without being overcrowded. All of our medicinal stuff is in here. And I've got some extra storage around here too, you know. We could expand on our storage and change things out, like the honey crumble. And whatever we get a lot of, I'll go ahead and move into a better box. What do we have way over here? Is there anything left here food related? All right, replacing the floor underneath where the forge goes. There we go. Let's get these guys back. Interactive, and there's our furnace. The forge. I feel like they did something to reduce the hitboxes on some of this stuff, because it seems to be working a little bit better. Put you right there. And then we got the furnace over here as well. Also had the big box. Let's see if we can get this big chest in here one more time. Now, can this fit in here still? I hope. Uh, it looked like it was going to. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, that's good. That works. I can get through here to get the chest. Awesome. Okay. Could even add another little chest down in here if I want to, which I probably will. Why the heck not, right? Have a little extra storage in here is never a bad idea. We put this guy right over here next to the big guy, and we can get to him just fine. Back behind the uh, forge. Yeah, there we go. Now we have everything we need right over here. Those are cool. I like how they glow. That's very nice. Hmm... How much mortar do I have left on me now? Down to six pieces. Well, it's not much. What do we need to do for that? B building, stone, these stone curve walls. It's going to be one mortar. <sighs> um, I suppose I could get these walls replaced and do that too. The 
let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what we can, let's actually see what we can get done with the mortar we do have. It's not a lot, but it's something. We'll do that one there, and let's grab this one here. Perfect. You. Our regular wall with a window. And then we have you. Do I have enough for one more? One more wall? I think I do. I think I've got enough for one more wall, please. Oh yeah, there we go. We got quite a bit of it done today. Look at that, we've got the sewing room still to do. This again is gonna be wood in the middle here. But we do have this taken care of, which looks amazing. Ominous and glowy like in there. I like that a lot. We have this area kind of stoned in. Our entire walkway, very dark through here. We will add more lighting, I promise. We'll add a lot more lighting. Kitchen looks amazing. I love the kitchen. Yeah, we're going to do another chandelier like this, probably in the center here, and then one more as you enter into this main room here. Have that all lit up. We've got our workbenches and our stone cutter bench sitting right here, so it's nice and handy for us. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, we still need quite a bit of clay because, again, I, I do want most of this first layer here to be uh, wood. And these towers, I think I am going to make all of these stone all the way up to the top. So that when you're looking from the outside, the bottom layer will be stone, but then each corner will be nice. Um, these nice stone pillars that go up, these towers will be stone on each corner. And I think that would look really good. I forgot we've got a chest up here that I've not done anything with, so we've got extra storage up there too. Uh, I am going to need to replace all of these blocks. I'm going to have to go around one day and just block every and, and change everything. But we've got our tannery outside now, so it's not going to be in our way inside the house here. We've got so much more to do, which is amazingly awesome because I love doing it. Uh, but we are out of materials, I do believe, indubitably. I do believe... I've got a lot more things to kind of put away, too. Um, our iron and stuff is going in here. You know, I've just been dropping stuff in here at the moment. But uh, we're running a little low on the iron front, too. So, yeah, we just, you know, you're gonna have to, we're going to have to move our tree from here to there and everywhere and get the, uh, you know, get the loot. Get the loot harnessed up. i still got things i got to take upstairs. And get that stuff out of the way. Iron ingot right there. We're going to put the lubers, lovers, lovers, lubers right there. And then clay is also going to go in here too. Yeah, we're down to one piece of clay left. That's it. So we've... Oh, I saw some chitin in here. There we go. Some of the heavy chitin. Awesome. Oh, and then we've got charcoal too. So yeah, I'm going to try to get a little bit more clay. It's not the most fun material to go get. Uh, hello. There we go. Okay, so that's done. I need to get this stuff moved upstairs out of the way. Uh, this guy needs to be fixed. I got an extra set of armor down here that doesn't need to be here. Yeah, and then I overflow stuff as well. But all these boxes now should be set up properly with what they are supposed to have in them. Let's go back upstairs to the bedroom. What is the bedroom now? And we shall see if we've got uh, room in our boxes here for our extra set of armor. Um, I do. I'm going to go ahead and put you right there. And then I've got a secondary set of this because I forgot that you do not lose your armor when you die. It stays on you. But then we've got two of the B sets here, which is nice. All right, I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll keep working on this and upgrading the base to what it needs to be. And, you know, trimming the staircase out. It still needs some trim pieces that need to be handled. And, 
you know, lighting needs to be changed. It's been kind of fun to have the base kind of grow with us as we go through uh, the game and learn and play the game. It's been really fun to start out with the grass hut and then switch to the wood. And now we're switching up to stone, which just gives it a beautiful look. And I think if we keep some of the wood in here, it's going to make the stone look even better and the wood look even better. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Want you have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.